These are my top three picks out of all the newest listings in Whistler this week. I've got a beautiful three bedroom plus loft corner townhome at Powderwood in Nordic Estates, a four bedroom home with perfect space for family on quiet Miller's Pond Crescent and Bay Shores, and a gorgeous renovated four bedroom home just up the street on Coyote Place, also in Bay Shores. These properties just hit the Whistler real estate market and today we're going room by room and I'll show you what makes each one worthy of my top three list for this week. Hey guys, let's jump straight into my top three picks for new listings that have come on the market in Whistler this week. Now, this week I was in three special properties which I really loved. Uh, the very first one I've got right now is number four at Powderwood. Now, Powderwood is a townhome complex that's in Nordic Estates. So it's not ski and ski out or anything like that, but it is a very nice neighborhood that faces out to the west. Okay, so these are large townhomes with double garages. Now, this is listed by Ursula Morell. Uh, with Remax Sea to Sky Real Estate Whistler. Now, it is a three bedroom and den, two bath, built in 1996, 1,617 square feet, and it's listed for 2,699,000. Now, this unit has been renovated and really, really like the modern look of it, but it still keeps some warm wood tones. Okay, so this is the photo of the living room. It's got a cor it's a corner unit, so you're going to have extra light here coming in these side windows, and then you also have a nice big deck. And there's no units in front of you. It's just a bit of forest and then mountain views in the distance, and you do have a covered deck here. And downstairs on the lower level, there is a hot tub, so we'll get to that in a second. But uh, really fairly chic. Uh, you've got the uh, the kitchen is original, but uh, it's been moderned up with some nice blue tones, uh, lots of white as well throughout, and wood flooring. And it's really well, um, really well staged with beautiful furniture. So you've got the corner location here. This is, uh, I believe it is Nordic Drive here out front. Um, actually, no, that's not Nordic Drive. I think that's Whistler Way, um, can't remember, doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, the views out to the west here. So you're going to have the sun set back in here for summertime. And then in the winter, it's going to be a little lower. The sun will set back in here. But it's a nice corner, quiet location. Um, barbecue out on the deck there. They've upgraded this unit with uh, some nice features. This is the uh, entry closet, and they've got sort of a modern-looking kind of rolling barn door here. And then they did this floating staircase here going up and down with glass. And then they've got uh, a standing desk up here on that little loft. And then that goes into the uh, the bedroom, the master bedroom. So there's the loft, which is a little bit of a desk uh, office area. And then that's, that's the... Um, that's the loft, the lofted master bedroom. You can see they've done some some built-ins and they've moderned it up quite nicely. Uh, there's the bathroom there. So if you just click through here, you can see they've done uh, redid this bathroom a couple of years ago. Really, really nicely done. Love this. Uh, this is one of the other bedrooms and uh, beautiful um, sort of a mural on the wall there. That's I think um, a stick and peel wall, but it's uh, pretty cool. Love that. And then you can just click through all the rest of the photos to take a look if you'd like. Uh, and that's one of the bedrooms on the ground floor, so the lower level. And that's where your hot tub is uh, out on the patio. Okay, so let's. Um, so these are the two levels here with the master bedroom right up in here. Now you can click through the rest of these photos on your own. And let's move on over to our next property. Now this is 2733 Miller's Pond Crescent and it's listed by Hannah Garcia with Angel and Haspen Realty. Um, this one is a home in Bay Shores that's four bedroom, two and a half bath. There is a one bedroom suite. So one of these bedrooms is the suite. So the main house is three bedrooms, uh, two and a half baths. And then you've got a double garage and it's listed for 3,299,236 square feet. So this home was in that one today, taking a look around. It's quite unique. You've got a ton of parking out here. And I actually used to live in the Miller's Pond neighborhood of Bay Shores. And uh, it's a really unique little neighborhood. And Miller's Pond Crescent is just a little 
uh, curved drive with about, uh, I don't know, 15 or 20 homes on it. But it's just a really quiet little neighborhood with a nice park and tennis courts as well. So really cool neighborhood. I love this. Um, you can click through these photos and take a look at um, the floor plans and so forth. Exterior of the home. Really nice tall ceilings in this one. And they've got sort of an open beam concept here. So it feels quite woodsy. It's got sort of a mountain cabin kind of a feel, and it is very bright, so uh, really cool. Now, this is an interesting thing here. So as you go from the living room, you go out here to the dining area, and then you've got the kitchen around this corner. So it's not like a, a wide open kitchen living kind of scenario uh, that you have in a lot of modern homes, but um, it's a little bit old school in that way, but I really quite like it. So if you just go around the corner here, you can see you've got that kitchen here. And uh, they've done a really cool sort of slate mountain backsplash in this uh, in this kitchen. And then as you go through the photos here, you can see that there's also another little sitting area um, just off of that, um, uh, of that kitchen as well. And then you've got uh, some freshened up decks outside, entryway, bedrooms. And it's just a really, really great neighborhood I really like um, really like Bay Shores. It's one of the first neighborhoods we ever lived in. Now let's go through to our final listing. And this is also listed by Hannah Garcia with uh, Angel and Hassman uh, and Associates. And this one is just up the street on Coyote Place, so it's still in Miller's Pond, uh, but uh, and in Bay Shores. So it is three million seven hundred eighty-nine thousand. Total of six and a half bedrooms, three and a half baths. So there is a two bedroom suite. The revenue suite brings in almost $3,000 a month. And um, the whole house in its entirety is 3,220 square feet. Okay, so let's just take a look through the photos on this one. And I really like this house um, mainly because uh, it has been updated inside quite significantly. And it's just a really, really cool, kind of a Scandinavian look almost. Um, very, very nice. Now, if you just go through from entry, you've got a living room here, lots of glass, dining, and around the corner, you've got a very modern-looking kitchen here. So it retains a bit of a farmhouse look with the white subway tiles, but um, I think it's just really well done. You can see that. And as you go through, you can see they've done some really cool art in here. And uh, this on the wall here, actually... These are oil barrel lids made into artwork. So they've been cut out and stacked up on the wall. It's a really cool feature, actually. I thought it was really neat. They're just kind of rusty looking uh, metal circles. So there's your deck, a vinyl covered deck with just beautiful views out to the west. And then just down below on the lower level, you do have that covered hot tub. And then this is kind of a lofted zone where uh, they've got a secondary living space uh, with a TV on the wall and built-ins and so forth. And then there's a little nook here for an office just as you lead into that space. And this area here is just sort of above where that kitchen is. You walk up a couple steps and you're into this zone. And then you've got uh, some nice bedrooms, really well done bathrooms. This was recently done just a year or two ago. Um, really well done. Okay, and that's another shot of uh, one of the other bathrooms as well so really modern up and you can click through all these photos to take a look on your own so thanks very much for uh hanging out with me and taking a look at this week's top three listings in whistler if you have any questions about real estate in whistler certainly let me know my contact details are below and if you have any comments about these properties or any others click down below and leave a comment in the comment section okay thanks very much we'll see you in the next video